Wouldn't it be nice if for once something was simpler and easier than it used to be? When it comes to moving your contact libraries, and your machine libraries for that matter, it is. So we've recently had the Native Instruments Summer of Sound sale, and I've treated myself to the upgrade to Complete 13 Collector's Edition. However, before I can install any of the software that I've bought, I needed to have a bit of a reorganisation, because my library system was a little chaotic, to say the least. So to free up some space on some very crowded drives, I treated myself to a brand new one terabyte solid state disk. And that's my new K drive for contact. Imagine my surprise when I realised that the gargantuan task of moving all of my existing contact libraries onto this was going to be a lot easier than I thought. Let's have a look at how things are. So this is my setup in my computer. I've got, as far as contact goes, I had a VST Libraries solid state drive and an internal solid state drive, which is where my original set of contact libraries were. This was getting very full, that was getting very full, and I needed to free up some space for the additional software that I was intending to download. So, what I decided to do was to move all of my Native Instruments contact libraries onto the new K drive, leave my third party contact libraries on the L drive, and only retain a few libraries on the D drive, which are slow to load because they're big libraries, and my system doesn't seem to want to load them as quickly as I would like it to load. Being an internal solid state drive, it's faster than the external ones. I've previously done a video on how to move contact sample libraries from one disk to another. The problem was, once you'd moved the libraries, you had to go into contact and tell it where the new samples were, one library at a time. You can imagine my surprise when I realised that Native Access, which has been introduced by Native Instruments since I did that video, makes the whole process a sight easier. So this is how it works. So I've got my K drive, which is where I'm moving stuff to, and I'm going to move these four libraries off my D drive in the contact folder onto here. So the first thing I do is move them into a holding folder. The reason for this is if something goes wrong during the transfer, I haven't lost the original files. And also means that when contact comes to look for them, because they won't be in this root folder anymore, they'll be in this separate folder, it won't find them. So I'll just grab them, drag them across to the contact libraries, and we'll wait and see how long that takes. Right, job done. So the first thing to do is to have a look at the libraries to make sure that they've transferred across. The easiest way to do this is to have a look at the dialogue for each one, the properties dialogue. So we've got 3.11 gig in 20 files, 3.11 gig in 20 files. OK, so we've successfully transferred from one to the other. The next thing to do is to point contact at the new location of the libraries. And to do that, we need to open Native Access. So we're in Native Access, and as you can see, it's having a bit of a problem because it's recognised that the four libraries we moved aren't in the place they used to be. Now, you can do them individually. So you can go in, select, repair, 
relocate and then it will tell you it's not there anymore and you can browse to the new folder sure this is action strikes you can say right there's the action strikes library select the folder relocate and bingo we're there however you don't want to be doing that particularly if you've moved loads of libraries i had this issue when i came to move all my machine libraries i moved them as a job lot and there's quite a few of them so you can relocate all the libraries now why is it choosing k well the answer is in my personal preferences i specified k as the content location for my native instruments to be installed to the default location so it's the only thing i've changed in there so because it's pointing at the k drive root i can say relocate the lot and it does them all like that one click relocated all of the libraries and i can drag the remaining ones across from my other drives and relocate the lot in one click rather than having to do them one at a time however there is one slight issue and that affects third-party libraries when you do the relocate all in native access that works fine for all of the libraries that you've downloaded from native instruments however where you have third-party libraries who haven't paid native instruments to appear in the listing here of the libraries and you have to access them through the files folder you don't always find that when you move them that that movement of location is picked up by contact it's very simple what you do is you go up here to batch resave click on it yeah you're about to make them compatible with contact but you simply then go to the location where they are stored and you pick the one you want to resave so we'll go with the firebird palm muted guitar here and that's it it's a very small file so it takes next to no time that will get around the dialogue that you sometimes get where it comes up and says i can't find the samples they're missing i hope you found this useful if you have please click the like and subscribe below it helps that youtube algorithm to work out that what i'm putting up there is actually worthwhile and if you found that you have value in this can i be cheeky and ask you to buy me a coffee from the link below so until next time you take care of yourselves.